Oh, snap. All right, then, Adra, I've gone and choose a Pokemon. Well, I've already got a Water and Fairy type, so I feel like my decision may be... Oh my, I don't- Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Ready guys, our Pokemon Flux Let's Play. Very excited, there is a serious battle going on. But this is a fan-made game that had come across my Twitter feed a few weeks back. And it was something that I had to try, so we're diving in. Let's have some fun, show some love, hit that like button down below, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And let's see what Pokemon Flux is all about. It's all down to this, folks. Who will win in the final match of this season of the Altara Pokemon League? Will champion Alistair hold on to his title? Or will challenger Brian take the title for himself? Whoop! Yeah! Go, Alistair! Oh, snap! You guys know I love fan-made Pokemon games with all new Pokemon, and this one seems to have a pretty sweet collection of new Mons. You've certainly put up a good fight, but you're no match for my team's firepower, Alistair. Huh, we'll see about that. Ah, oh, what's this? It looks like Alistair has activated his Flux Bracer. Could he be putting everything he's got into one final attack? Deastrix, let's end this. Razor Sharp Stone Crash. So this game features Flux moves, I guess, which are maybe like Z moves or maybe like Dynamax moves. I'm not actually sure. Awesome, his moves are incredible. And just like that, we have our champion. What a spectacular match. Exactly what you'd expect from the best and brightest in the Altara Pokemon League. Truly anything is possible with the power of Flux Energy. That's a wrap on the season. Who knows what surprises the next League season will bring. So a very different kind of start here. In the region of Altara, three friends will soon embark on their journey with Pokemon. This adventure will define their futures and decide the fates of more than just themselves and their friendship. What trials and discovery await them? What new friends and adversaries will they meet? The future awaits, but first, who are you? Oh, I get to be one of them. All right, well, I think I gotta go with this guy. Although this one's kind of cool, but we'll go with this guy. I'll be this person right here. I'm gonna be A-Drive. Is that right? Yes, welcome to Altara. Tomorrow's the day you receive your starter Pokemon. Tonight, the night after the Altara Pokemon Championship, this is the night your journey truly begins. We're at Warbler Park. Alistair's so cool. So we have a friend named Terra. And then I think I remember the last, the other one's name is like Aster or something. Always so focused, even in the intense battle. Yeah, it is Aster. I'm glad I got to see him win in person. His moves are incredible. I bet A-Drive enjoyed it too. What was your favorite part? His Pokemon. He's got some of the strongest Pokemon from all over Altara. They trust him completely too. It takes a skilled trainer to handle a Pokemon like Deastrix. I'm not sure I could command something like that. I'd like to battle him someday. I wonder if I could win using strategy. Get real, he'd wipe you out. Besides, we aren't even trainers yet. We will be soon, starting tomorrow. Help, help! Uh-oh. Did you hear something just now? Sounds like it came from inside the park. Uh-oh. These Pokemon look a little bit angry. Alter Pokemon here. They've got that family surrounded. Mom, I'm scared. Don't worry, sweetie. These trainers are here to help. Oh, we don't have any, any Pokemon. Don't be afraid. Ah, snap. Champion Alistair, don't worry, I can handle these Alter Pokemon. Although, you three, would you happen to be Pokemon trainers? Uh, not exactly, we're gonna get our first Pokemon tomorrow. I see, that's not a problem. I have three Pokemon here with me. I'll lend them to you so you can help me drive these Alter Pokemon away. Is this for real? They should all be well suited for young trainers like you. You two, come quickly. Terra and Aster both received a Pokemon. Hi there. It's so cute. You as well, come here. Oh, do I, am, I, am I getting a starter? What's my name? A-Drive? Huh, well, A-Drive, this Pokemon's for you. I think it suits you. And we get Cell Kid. All right, so we get a Cell Kid to start it off. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure the little bat on the bottom of the screen, the little purple dude, is actually from um, Uranium, if I'm not mistaken. Pokemon Uranium. So the family's gonna get out of the way, and then me and the champion Alistair are gonna take on the big dude. So let's see how this goes. Let's do this. Ooh. And it's a Tanskier. And we've got Selkid and Diastrix. Bro, his Diastrix is wicked. The Ultra Energy surrounding Tanskier strengthens it. I'm level five. Okay, you know how this works, don't you? Ultra Pokemon are similar to other wild Pokemon. Command your Pokemon to fight and use one of its moves. I'll do the same. 
Alright, so fight, and I'll use bubble. He used wide guard. Oh, we, he used wide guard to help me, and he protects us from the snarl. Big plays, big plays. I'm gonna do like one damage. Keep wearing it down. I'm doing nothing. Alter Pokemon are capable of using flux moves. They have more health HP than regular Pokemon. That makes them particularly dangerous, but don't worry, we have flux on our side too. I guess I'll echo voice this time. The flux energy gathers around Diastrix, and he's gonna use star Sharp Stone Crash. And it's going to drop some big boulders his way. And straight up bop him. Level 60 diastrix, that'll that'll do. Alright, we're saved! Thank you, champion. I just happen to be passing through. Any decent trainer would have done what I did. Why were the Alter Pokemon here of all places? That is concerning. Normally they wouldn't attack so close to the city. I'm traveling to the South Nexus. I'll make sure that they know what happened here. In the meantime, you should hurry home. Try not to stay out so late after dark in the future. The battle was intense. We couldn't have done it without these Pokemon. Yeah, I felt like we really bonded in that battle. Too bad they have to go back to Alistair. Actually, I think you should keep those Pokemon I lent you. I can sense the bond that you share. Really? Indeed. They are the offspring of my own Pokemon that I raised. I think if they travel with you, they can reach their maximum potential. Wow, did you hear that, Luna Pup? We're partners now. You three. You said your journey as Pokemon trainers begins tomorrow. You have a very important responsibility. It's up to trainers like us to defend Altera. Otherwise, the Alter Pokemon will make life as we know it unsustainable. Get stronger, deepen your bonds with your Pokemon, and learn to use Flux. Who knows, maybe I'll see you in the Champions Arena next time. Alright, so he's gonna give me this little onion water thing. I don't know. It's got bubble and echoed voice. This is how Pokemon trainers feel? That was intense, I know! My heart is pounding. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm beat. As am I. We should, we should head back home. Our families will worry. You're right. Tomorrow's an important day. We gotta wake up early so we can get a Pokemon from Professor Reed's lab. I look forward to seeing his face when we tell him what happened tonight. I'm sure he'll be surprised. Come on, let's go! And there is the intro screen for Pokemon Flux. Looks pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. That's actually really cool. Your first Pokemon, huh? That's name is Selkid. Should I give him a name? Sure. It's pretty cute! I don't think I, I think I would have picked one of the other Pokemon, uh, but this is pretty adorable. I'm just gonna name her Finn. Oh, there we go. I'll name you Finn. And we'll see how Finn's gonna do for us. My alarm, should I see if I have any texts? From Terra. Hey, a Drive, I'm so excited to get our starters. When you're ready, meet me outside the lab. I bet Aster slept in again. See you soon. And here is Selkid, which is a water and fairy type, modest nature. That's feeling pretty good with Q-Charm. Wait a minute, this actually feels really good. Hey, Drive, I'm sure you're gonna be an excellent trainer. It's your biggest dream after all. And take good care of that cell kid, won't you? All kids leave home someday. They say that, but part of me doesn't want to accept it. That said, we believe in you, Hey, Drive. Have fun on your adventure. Ooh, look at that little Pokemon outside. This game looks really good, I'm not gonna lie. And here we are in Sparrow Town. Oh, this lady just gave me an ether. And this old lady just hooked me up with a rare candy. Thanks, lady. Ah, uh, there's Terra. And I think this is a good time for us to recap the rules. This is a, a fan-made game, obviously, and it's my understanding that it is not uh, completed. So we're gonna be playing kind of our first part of the game, but I have heard amazing things. I am going to Nuzlocke this, uh, but I'll E-Drive lock it. So basically, I'll choose my encounter on every route, but I only get one, and then if they faint, we put them in the box. Uh, we'll nickname everything and three potions per battle rule. Pretty straightforward stuff that I normally do on our Nuzlocke runs. I kinda have to do Nuzlocke's man, cause it, it just keeps me more engaged. There's so many places in Pokemon, I don't know what to expect, but that's exciting. I hope Dr. Reed is okay with us having a Pokemon already. I don't think it should be a problem, but we should go inside. Oh, hey Aster, you're awake. Sorry for the delay, I hope you weren't waiting long. Don't worry, we're in this together after all. Good, the three of you are here, and especially good morning to you, A-Drive. I trust you slept well. Glad to see you're all on time. I trust you're all to prepare to get your first Pokemon? Uh, wait a minute, hang on a moment. Could it be that you all have a Pokemon already? How? Well, you see... You what? Alter Pokemon are incredibly dangerous, and without any experience as trainers, you could have been hurt. We were all right in the end. Champion Alistair was there. He's the one who gave us these Pokemon. There was never any real danger. The champion himself trusted us with these Pokemon. I suppose. It was fortunate the champion was passing by when he did, and well, defeating Alter Pokemon is an important part of being a trainer in the Altera Pokemon League. I hope you're not too upset. Can we still get our starters? 
Yes, of course. Even though you already have a Pokemon, a promise is a promise. Follow me into the lab. As I thought, he wasn't really upset, just worried. That's a relief. Let's go. Now, as you know, the Altera Pokemon League has approved me to distribute Pokemon to new trainers. It's my honor to present you with your first Pokemon, is what I'd say, but you already have one already. Uh, I'm not mad. I'm just surprised is all. Now then, have you decided what you'll be choosing first? I think you should go first. You're always blazing a trail. It's only fitting. It's fine if you both choose first. It'll be an interesting challenge developing strategies for both of you. All right then, A-Drive, go on and choose a Pokemon. Well, I've already got a Water and Fairy type, so I feel like my decision may be... Oh my, I don't, do I even need to look? Do I even need to look? I don't even think I need to look. The Leaf Moth Pokemon? It munches on leaves to absorb their photosynthetic property. I had, I didn't even know these were the starters. Its mossy coat allows it to camouflage along the tree's tops. Chicklet, the chick Pokemon, a poor flyer, glides and hops from branch to branch to traverse the forest where it lives. It uses tiny bursts of fire to fend off attackers. And Findolf, the dolphin Pokemon, a resilient Pokemon that thrives on land and water. To defend its spell, it sprays a forceful jet to the blowhead on its head. <laughs> Forget about it. You guys let me know in the comments section below who you're choosing. Maz, Chicklet, or Findolf, and you already know where I'm going. It's a dream come true. It can exhibit strange powers. Is Maz your choice? Yes, it is. Maz is my choice. I love it so much. I didn't know I would love it as much as I do. I'm gonna name her Mozzie. I love it. I love it. What a name. Oh, nice. In that case, I'll choose this one. Terra obtained Chicklet. Well then, I choose you. If Maz is bugging grass, man, I'm gonna be pumped up. Even if it's not, it's still sick. This is exciting. I'm sure you're feeling as hype as I am. Why don't we honor this moment with a battle? A double battle, Altera League style. Let's go. Oh, baby. That's going to make Nuzlocke even harder. I don't think I realized that we were double battling here. Luna Pop and Chicklet. All right. Finn and Mozzie. My boy. Now, I don't have Pokeballs yet. But let me take a look at my boy Mozzie here. My girl Mozzie. Boggy Grass, Hasty Nature, Overgrow, Plus Speed, Minus Defense, Scratch, and Leer. This thing is a, a detriment for me right now. I'm not going to lie. Okay. We're going to bubble, and it hits both. And then I think we're going to scratch into the chiclet. They're going to scratch me. I take four. I get a scratch off, so I'm pretty fast. And then bubble comes off and does massive damage. Double super effective. I get a speed drop, and then we get... What is that? Bulldoze? No, that was something else. Okay. So... I think I bubble and then I scratch again and the scratch should clear the chiclet before it can attack. And that's sick. Yo, this is high. I'm actually so excited for this. Okay, get some good experience for the, the girl Mozzie. Here comes, uh, looks like Hal and Bubble should be able to knock it out. I love the UI. This is great. And Mozzie goes up to six. Mozzie learned leafage. Let's go. That was an awesome match, A-Drive. That was an awesome match. Even though I picked a starter with a type advantage, your cell kit is good against my Luna Pup. Guess I need to train harder. Huh. Now that you both have that out of your system, I need you to listen closely. You may have your Pokemon, but there's more to do before you become an official trainer with the Altera League. You three need to keep, head east to Condor City and report to the Altera League HQ. There you can re register as an official competitor and receive your Flux Bracers. After all, using Flux is the mark of any true Alteran Pokemon trainer. One last thing before I forget. Here, you three, take these. And we're gonna get our Pokedex. I trust that you know what this is for. The Pokedex will help you identify and record information on every Pokemon species. It's an invaluable tool for any starting trainer. Plus, filling it out will be a great aid to my own research, so I hope you'll try it and complete it if you can. To help with that, I'd like you to take these as well. 10 Pokeballs. That's good. That's more than I can say, but I sense your itch to begin your journey. The region is full of mysteries. Quite right. Just know that you're always welcome to visit home anytime. And if you want to know how your Pokedex is going, feel free to call me. All right. I can't wait. You're free. Go explore. What a, what a moment. Particularly the Alter Pokemon. You should be able to defend yourselves. Careful not to get too far in over your heads. I shouldn't keep you any longer. Go on. Your journey awaits. Wait, Aster. I'd like a word with you in private. The two of you go on ahead. I'd just like to say some words to my kids. Sorry for the hold up, guys. Now that we have our starters, we can finally begin our journey. We have to head to Quandor City and register for the Pokemon League. But Aster, don't you have something to tell A-Drive? I'd like to see your battling skills for myself, but I'll wait for you in Warbler Park. 
I hope to see your best strategies on display. Until then. Well, I should head off to you. We'll meet in Condo City outside the League HQ. I'll see you there, A-Drive. Okay, I need to geek out for a second. I am so pumped right now for Mozzie. Like, what are we doing right now? Look at little Mozzie just hopping behind me. I love it. Hmm, the path is clear, but the altar Pokemon are here. And I think this is where we actually heal, which is very strange Pokemon. My Pokemon Nursa can heal you. Okay, I guess I'll heal. This is a helpful Pokemon that can heal with its warm electric hugs. Nursa are common sight in Pokemon centers. All right, well, we'll head to the Condor City and see what's going on. Here's Warbler Park. So this is where we're gonna have to face off against one of our rivals. Do you know how to catch Pokemon? You say that, but prove it. Show me by catching a Cavamy. I'll give you a reward if you do. All right, well, I have a tough choice to make whether I actually want to catch a Cavamy. And there's, oh, there's an overworld Pokemon too? Yeah, that's sick. What are the shaking grass spots? Interesting. Oh, a Squirmy! Bro, how are they gonna do this to me with all these cool little Pokemon? So I have to choose one. But again, because I'm doing an A-Drive lock, I get to choose what I want. So this looks like it's probably bug, maybe ground. Probably don't need a bug type again, but it's very cute. I'm gonna have to see what's here. The little little bird looked kind of cool too. Tough call. Oh, there's a lot of trainers here. Have you got what it takes to survive the great outdoors? Maybe? He's got a cab of me. This is what I'm trying to get. Oh, it's this little thing. Okay. So this is what uh, one of the trainers in the town had. This little, I don't know what it is. Uh, guinea pig of sorts. So he's saying if I catch this, he'll give me a prize. But I don't know if it's worth using my encounter on this thing for the prize. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. We'll have to see. But otherwise, I'm going to just leafage. Try to knock it out. It's probably just a regular old normal type. Like your Rattata version of the game. Uh, we'll just keep leafage. Hopefully this is a 3 of KO. It's not, so I'm gonna take another tackle. Uh, I don't think it's gonna have quick attack. That would be really sad though, if I just died to quick attack. <laughs> I'd be really salty. Uh, all right, so we get another level. Finn gets a level, and he's gonna set out a Humborb. But I'd like to switch my Pokemon, sure. I, I guess we can switch. Humborb. That's the bird, I think. That is the bird, yeah, yeah. Looks at like a straight up angry bird. Like I'm not even gonna lie, my dude looks straight up like an angry bird. And he just chunked me. Is he grass type too? No, he's definitely not grass type, okay. So we can just bubble him down, but he has quick attack. And I need to go heal now and try to not run into any more trainers because I am not prepared to take on another trainer. But we do beat this camper patches, so that's good. So I guess these are alter Pokemon hunters. This guy and the guy next to him. And this guy is probably gonna tell me that they're looking for Ultra Pokemon that were here last night, which is the ones that I found. So I guess not surprising. And there's a trainer here with what seems to be flying type Pokemon. And there's a Pokeball. So I'm gonna just keep exploring this park. I do have an encounter. I should definitely grab that before we advance. All right, we got a little trainer battle here. What do you have in store for us? Last Cindy's got a Humborb. Yeah, see, I, I cannot stay in with Mozzie. And that's gonna be something we'll have to be really careful of because Mozzie is four times weak to fly. <laughs> so not an ideal scenario there. And I think we saw like Gus before or something last time. We should be okay to just bubble this though. Echo voice also nice, but bubble will probably be good here. And whatever that is, I don't, I don't know if that's wing attack or what. I, I kind of have to slow down the text a little bit and take a look next time. And she's got an Outen, and this is another flying type, and this is from Uranium as well, but it seems to be redesigned. My guess is that it's a, uh, a fairy type now. He's got a Defog Outen. Yeah, that's that was definitely a Pokemon from Uranium. And Echo Boy's looking like it's Hyper Beam out here. Jeez, and he's got Charm to drop my attack, but we should be okay to beat this and just snag some good XP. Finn should be all right. And I get a crit on the Echoed Voice. Some good XP. Mozzie to level eight. Learn Struggle Bug, that's huge. Let's go, Leafage and Struggle Bug, very nice. Don't you know the amazing, incredible bug types? Aw oh, man, I love me some bug types. Show me what you got, Bug Catcher Edgar. He's got a Squirmy, so we know about Squirmy. I, dude, it's so tempting to go Squirmy, man. It, it really is tempting to say, I'm gonna just grab this, homie. Because he does feel kinda cool, and Mud Slab is in bed, you know? Dude, I'm so excited for Mozzie, man. I really like this. I really like this. And we'll knock this thing out. No problem. Good to go. All right, what else you got? He's got a Lettyba. 
Alright, so Lediba, I don't think he's gonna have any attacks that are a big deal, but I also don't want to find out. So, we'll just go Finn. And we could just beat this Lediba up. Oh, I love the Lediba spray in this game. I actually really like it. We could just echo voice. It's gonna take a few turns to do it, but we should be okay here. And this last echoed voice will seal the deal and knock out the Lediba. So the lady just told me that the shaking patches of Pokemon are actually potentially rare Pokemon. So I'm gonna beat this dude up, heal, and then we're gonna find our next Pokemon and then go from there. It's probably not gonna be Cavan me though. All right, so we found another Squirmy in the shaking patches. Ooh, an Outen. All right, I think I gotta go Outen as much as I wanna go Squirmy. I think we gotta go for it. That thing looks too cool to not have on the team. It is a fairy type. I mean, I do have a, I mean, I already have a fairy. All right, I'm gonna try one more encounter. I'm gonna try one more encounter. All right, I found another Outen. I'm gonna go for it. Uh, it took me a little while to find it, so it's definitely the rarest. That seems to be the rarest encounter here. Um, so we'll snag it. Nice scratch there. He does have fairy win, but we should be okay. And honestly, like, if there's a type to kind of double up on, fairy is, is probably one of the safer options, right? Um, I think we'll be okay having two fairy types on the team. And let's see. Nice. We catch our first Pokemon on the run. It's going to be an Outen. Alteran Outen. Oh, so it's a form. Is beloved by many due to its cuteness and lovely singing voice. It knows this and uh, is not above using them to get what it wants. That's cute. I'm going to name it Melody. All right. So here is our Outen, which is Melody. It's a lonely nature, which increases its attack and drops its defense. And it's got Serene Veiled, blocks the added effects of uh, attacks taken. So I think that's Shield Dust, basically. Uh, and we have IVs as well, which I didn't realize. So this thing was four IVs. And our starter was four IVs as well. Seems like lacking on the special attack side, but good on the other stuff. So that's good. It's very fast. And you can see EVs too, which is cool. And this thing is like, I guess, below average. Uh, very weak on offensively. All right, here's the battle we've been waiting for against our rival. One of our rivals. Hey, Drive, I've been waiting for you. Ever since you battled Terra earlier, I've been anxious to try my own skills against yours. What do you say? Are you ready for battle? I can heal you first. That's fine. Keep on exploring the park. Wait, no, I want to fight. All right, I'm ready. Let's heal our Pokemon and let's get it. You know when the rival heals you, it's about to go down. You know what I'm saying? There's an arena nearby. Let's battle over there. I put a lot of thought into my strategy. Your starter has a type advantage, but I don't think that means you'll win. Now, don't hold back. I want to see you go all out. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> All right, he's got three Pokemon. He's gonna kick off an Outen and Minion. All right, I was not prepared under any circumstances for this moment. Okay, um, yeah, I'm already in a bad spot. I'm not gonna lie. I'll switch in Mozzie and then I'm gonna go, I think I go for the Echoed Voice. No, I'm gonna go for the Bubble to hit both. I'm very scared of the Outen on the other side. He's gonna go for Astonish, that's fine. And I get the bubble off. Good damage. Here comes a Fairy Wind. All okay so far. I think we Struggle Bug here because it's gonna hit both and weaken them. And then I think I bubble again. So Struggle Bug is the fastest thing. So I get the special attack drop first, unless he has that shield, which he may. Here comes an Acid, which is super effective. It does a lot of damage to both of my Pokemon. He gets a HP restoration from that because of his effect Bloodlust. And Finn's gonna go for a bubble and almost knock out the Outen, but it's still alive. My Melody gets a level and he goes for Defog. Oh, dude, I was so nervous. I was so nervous. Okay, and here comes his Findolf here. So for this, I can go, I think I Struggle Bug and clear them both or I Leafage. I think the smart play is you Leafage the Findolf and then I think you Bubble to hit both. So Leaf Vigil hit the Findolf. That's gonna be super effective, do really good damage. He's gonna Water Gun me, so I know he's really fast now. Bubble's gonna come off and I'll get rid of the Outen before he can do anything. And we're in a much safer position now than we were. Melody's gonna make up ground, grab some levels, and then we should be okay here to just click Leaf Vigil and Bubble and call this one a day. That was a little sketchy. I gotta remember these are double battles on every account. Uh, that's, that's gonna be tough. <laughs> But we learned Disarming Voice, a Fairy-type move, and we beat Aster in the double battle strats. You win fair and square, your spontaneous style. It always managed to catch me off guard. I'll have to consider this in our next battle, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Regardless, we should head to Condor City. I saw Terra pass by not long ago. She'll be waiting for us at the Altara League HQ. 
we shouldn't keep her waiting long. Besides, I'm anxious to register for the league too. See you there, A-Drive. And I think that this is a really, really awesome spot for us to wrap up today. I super enjoyed this episode, and I hope you guys did as well. I love our little team. I always love the beginning of new fan-made Pokemon games when you're kind of just getting started, and it's all coming together. So I'm having fun. Let me know which starter you guys would pick in the comment section below, and be sure to like the channel, or like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you don't miss out on our upcoming episodes. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Flux, baby. Peace. Hey.